Man, this kid can't catch a break. Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one young so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today, oh uh, yeah, we coming with another wonderful episode of Talk Shop, and this is a special episode because we're doing a read along of Freestyle Comics Hot Shot because on Monday we are doing a live review of issue number nine. It's going to be so fun because I'm going to be with the creator or the penciler. Michael Watson, we're gonna be talking about the book. It's gonna be so fun uh, being able to actually hear from the man himself why he did this or why he did that or what was his ideas or what's his plans for the future or you know, why was this drawn this way or what, you know, why was the, the character design? All of this cool stuff we're gonna be able to get into. So check us there, man. It's gonna be Monday. It's gonna be so fun. Monday, Monday, Monday. But Let's get into a hot shot. And here we're gonna be covering issues one and two. The reason I put these together is because there's a to be continued and they kind of fit together pretty well doing, you know, this man's little journey or beginning of his journey, of course, where we find him in downtown Columbus. Now, the things that I like about this book are that the, the guy, Michael, of course, after Michael Watson, but, <laughs> the character of Hotshot, his real name is Michael, and he's relatable. He's a he's a regular guy. He's a normal guy. You know, he's he's the everyman that you can kind of like relate to. His, your entryway into the story is very is very easy. It's not hard to grasp where he's coming from. Uh, he has a broken relationship. You know, his girl is like, "Why are you always gone?" Of course, we know he's always gone because he's got to fight crime. But you know. <laughs> He's always gone. She's blaming him for cheating. She thinks it's another woman. And sometimes whenever you get an idea into someone's head that some infidelity is coming going on, you can't get it out of their head. It's just there. So in this case, you know, she's leaving. So he's struggling with that. And it's something that you can sympathize with because he's like, yo, man, I can't just put my superhero business out there because one, I don't know how you're going to handle it. Two, you might tell it. And three, it might put you in more danger, you know, and I'm sure there's a four, five, six, and seven, but those are the main three things, you know what I mean? You don't want her to be in more danger, so in trying to be a good hero, he ends up ruining his relationship, and that's kind of where we meet him, man, and a thing that I like about the art, which is a, is a plus and minus, the art, when it gets to the facial expressions, um, they're very descriptive and vivid and weird, Kind of like, it reminded me of like Eric Larson's facial expressions back in the day where they would be very close up and very weird, but very expressive. Um, but at the same time, the art at times seems to either change models or sometimes get rushed. But though that, that you know, kind of hinders it a little bit, we're picked up because we get a crossover with Heroes to International and Vigilance, most importantly, and I love vigilance and we also get a nice forward moving story even though we go back in time twice technically in the first issue which i don't like kind of like five days ago or yesterday it's like yo just tell me from the beginning man stop hopping back to the you know stop hopping back but one thing i do like is that since they did that they tied it up well because sometimes writers will say you know one day ago and then they'll forget to tie up a certain loose end and in this they tied it up well but what really drives this is the the dichotomy between hot shot and his character which is kind of like every man easy going and the void or void which is this villain that he has to go up against and dude is not playing and he's not only extremely strong but he's got the ability to kind of i guess put people in a trance to fight with him against a good guy. And I mean, they're like throwing bottles and cans and even shooting at Hot Shot while he's trying to fight the real threat. And I think that provides a very interesting, and I mean, there's other villains have done it, but it's not, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be as prevalent in this one because there's even people that are being like mind, you know, mind warped or whatever, and then seems like they're dying because they're like foaming at the mouth. 
I mean, this is a pretty dangerous situation because this guy seems to, you know, he's levitating cars and throwing them and, you know, the hot shot's trying to dodge cars and stuff. And he's trying to dodge people and trying not to hurt the people, but they're shooting at him. And it's crazy, the scene that we get to see in these first two issues. And it's in this fight that I like how they, they build the world. Um, and I like how they, they kind of allow Hot Shot to be his own hero while showing that sometimes you need a shoulder to lean on. Like Hot Shot, for, for the most part, handles the void, sort of. He, he knocks the crap out of him when he goes like straight Super Saiyan, but dude knocks the crap out of him and he like goes flying into like Antarctica or something, I don't know, it just goes, it's an ice place, all right, man, it's a real cold place. And they're not in a cold place at this time, like not from the Canada or something. But Vigilance comes, helps him out and takes him to, you know, I guess like a, you know, a superhero EHD facility, I don't know, some, you know, extra human, you know, hospital. That's where she take him. But you know, he kind of heals up and it takes me back around to his girlfriend that broke up with him, which is, I think is another strong part and, a, and an interesting part to leave off on these two issues is, you know, she left him, of course, because she's like, I don't know where you've been, I don't know where you're going, I think it's another woman, blah, blah, blah. Well, during the fight, when he was throwing all these cars, one of the cars that was in danger was a car that his ex-girlfriend named Carla was in. And not only does he save Carla, but Carla finds out that he, of course, is hot shot. And that's where we catch them two, or both of them, at the end of issue two. And not only is she like, we need to talk, and he's like, yo, man, I ain't got time for this because dude's like mad, bad, and bruised. But she's like, you know, I know you're hot shot now, but the second he, you know, she goes to say that, dude is like in his trance of becoming part of the void, a part of entering the darkness or whatever. So I think these two issues, I put them together because you see, kind of the, the exit of Carla, and then sort of the entry of Carla back again while spanning a, a certain particular fight. And it's a great introduction, man. I really I really enjoy it. I mean, there's, there's things where the models seem rushed at times with the art. Um, Carla has a color problem. At first I thought she was white, then I thought she was black, then I thought she might have been Latina. So I don't know what they're doing with her color, but the core of it, which is the, the connection to the rest of the world of freestyle comics. Uh, the fight, which was just, it was bananas, man. Like, because you got to see like just cars, big rigs, you know, pickup trucks, stuff just flying at him. And then just regular citizens also attacking him with, you know, with everything they had. I mean, there were multiple people shooting at him. So this is a serious situation and I was just, I was, I was glad to see something that was that well intertwined. So yes, the art does have problems in some of these panels, but I had a great time reading it, man. The story really held through, um, very colorful, very vibrant. I think it's something that I could get into. And since I'm gonna be doing this read along, guys, you can holler at me, I'm gonna holler at you. Down in the comments, you can check the link in the description below for all the freestyle comic stuff. Check out Hot Shot. Uh, to read along with this, I think you probably want to read Hot Shot, maybe a little Vigilance just to get caught up, but Hot Shot, that's what I'm on now, so let's read it along. Man, I'm having a ball, and hopefully I'll see you on Monday on Facebook Live. But before I bounce, I gotta say, thatnerdsoul.com is a place where you can check me out all my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player, and don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then, Come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right. There is no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, my shout outs go to LA What Up, VA What Up, RVA, you got my heart, and please be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and remember if you're going to fight against a huge, magnified darkness enemy, watch your back. Peace.